We continue with a former prisoner's complaint with how he's being treated after his release. He says he's owed money from a third party service that collects cash for phone calls behind bars. Now, this appears to be just the tip of the iceberg with this problem. Investigative reporter Chris Horn is looking into the calls gone unanswered. Chris? That's right, Stephanie. Now we're talking about the calls Terrence Plummer is making to Global Tell Link. Like millions of other prisoners across the U.S., Plummer had an account with that company. He says they owe him money after he paid his debt to society. What I would like to be able to contribute to society. Terrence Plummer of Hampton served 26 years for armed robbery. He got out in January after a pardon from former Governor Ralph Northam. But he walked out of Greensville Correctional Center with an unused balance on his phone account of $100. Supposedly you get in contact with Global Tail Link mm -hmm. and that they would issue you, um, a, you know, a check. Also known as GTL, this company keeps sending Plummer a busy signal when he has tried repeatedly to get money that is rightfully his. Well, my family and friends mm -hmm. put money on it and I put money on it for my prison pay. It's been five months of the runaround. We're going to get the money to you in 30 days. According to its website, GTL is connected to nearly 2,000 jails and prisons across the country. Two major federal cases involved multi-million dollar settlements against the firm. The larger of the two was in Atlanta last December for $67 million covering a period of 10 years. We've reached out to GTL but have not received a response so far. $100 may not sound like much, but when you're trying to reacclimate to society after more than 25 years, it can make an enormous difference. Food, gas, shelter, or in some cases, much worse. Not having that money could probably send someone else over the edge and back in. And back in. Plummer suspects that GTL is just trying to outlast him, frustrate him into throwing in the towel. And I'm not giving up. That's why I'm having this conversation and this interview with Wavy 10. And Plummer wants to thank former Governor Northam for the pardon. Meanwhile, we've reached out to the Office of Attorney General Jason Miares, and if we get any response from that office or from the company, GTL, we'll post it on wavy.com.